hey 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 welcome back to my channel so today as you can see from the title we are going to be making three kinds of chocolate the milk chocolate the white chocolate and the dark chocolate so if you love chocolate keep watching this video so first of all i am going to need some cocoa butter this is pure unrefined cocoa butter and i'm using about 250 grams of cocoa butter also, I am going to be using some coconut oil. This is pure unrefined coconut oil. I'll get a saucepan and come in with the cocoa butter and about a tablespoonful of coconut oil. I'll melt this on very low fire. After it is melted, I will take a third of the oil. So first of all, let's make our white chocolate. Then I'll come in with some vanilla essence to give it some extra flavor. I'll drop in a tablespoonful of icing sugar. Then another tablespoonful of milk powder. I'll mix it very well to get it very smooth. If you're doing this in a very large quantity, I would advise you use a mixer. Now I'll get my silicone mold and pour the chocolate into it. I'll let this cool down for about 3 hours. If you don't have time, you can just put it in the fridge for about an hour. But honestly, I must say it tastes better if you allow it to, you know, cool down naturally. So let's make our milk chocolate. I'll come in with the same amount of oil, drop in some vanilla essence. A tablespoonful of icing sugar a tablespoonful of milk powder and finally about half a tablespoonful of cocoa powder I'll just mix everything up till it's smooth and silky afterwards I'll pour it into my silicone mold and let this cool down Finally, let's do our dark chocolate. I'll come in with the same amount of oil, drop in some vanilla essence, one tablespoonful of icing sugar, and one tablespoonful of cocoa powder. I'll mix it up till it's smooth and silky. Then I'll get my silicone mold and pour it into it, and I'll let it set. So it's been after about three hours and our chocolates are ready. I have my white chocolate here. And look at this guys, this is just beautiful and it smells so good. Next, I've got my milk chocolate. And finally, my dark chocolate. So ladies and gentlemen, this is how to make chocolate at home. I must say, if you use a cocoa butter, the chocolate is harder and it does not easily melt in the summer. If you don't have cocoa butter or if you don't like cocoa butter, you can use coconut oil. It's just up to you. I prefer to mix the two because I like the smell of coconut oil mixed with cocoa butter. And I love making my own chocolates because I can regulate the amount of sugar I put in there. So I hope this helped you and I hope you are definitely going to give this a try. If you do, let me know how it comes out for you. You can even send me pictures if you want. If you have not subscribed to this beautiful channel, what are you waiting for? Just hit on the subscribe button. Don't forget to leave me that big fat thumbs up and don't forget to share this with family and friends. Until next time, I am going to see you again with another nice and interesting one. Bye bye!